So you need to think what is right for you. So once you have that kind of right mindset, then people would definitely follow. First, people laugh at you and then they follow. So at what time okay, do you take the you know, online classes? So very good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to you too. So Glad how to are you? Sir. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. And how about you? Yeah, I'm per uh, perfectly all right. Thank you very much. So I was talking to somebody else, but I forgot to record that session. So that's why. I'm a bit... Not any issue, sir. I'm not any issue. Okay, I'm glad to uh, see you here. And uh, please uh, tell me something about yourself. Yeah, my name is Gaurav. Uh, as you already know that, I have been uh, a, a, like an English teacher for almost 14 years. And I'm also running a YouTube channel called GS, the English Academy. So when it comes to my hobbies, I like uh, spending time with my family, uh, especially with my kids. And I play those uh, games nowadays because you know that when you have a child, you have to spend a lot of time. So that has become my hobby now. Earlier, I was into uh, spending a lot of time in uh, cricket field. And I also read some of the books. So that's all about me. Yes, thank you so much for introducing yourself. Now, let me introduce myself. Uh, this is Ms. Lesh and I'm from Bihar. The district Madhubani and talking about my educational qualification, I am an arts graduate since 2019. And talking about you know my interest, uh, I love making videos and uh, I love to learn new new things. So, so that's it. So sir, okay. I, as I you said that you are English trainer. Mm -hmm. Yes, am I right? Yeah. Yes, you okay. are. So, could you please tell me that uh, because I have you know the problem that uh, sometimes you know uh, when we when we talk in English, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, long duration, OK, we use the word like uh, the same word, you know, many times like, you know, and uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, so how can we you know, get rid of this problem? So if you have any special you know, suggestion for me that, OK, then definitely please give me and definitely I will you know, add on my speaking and, improve, and definitely I will improve myself. So could you please give me the suggestion and tips? Yes. Why not? Before talking to you, I was talking to somebody else and I was talking to say I was talking about the same kind of thing. So whenever you speak, please make sure that you speak slow. Once you start speaking slow, then you will have good command on your words. Because most of the time when we get stuck, we start thinking and then there is a filler. Then there is a particular space that has been created. So to fill that fill particular space, we start using those filler words like, you know, you know, and uh, basically, so it happens a lot. Go slow, speak slow, so that you know what is coming next. So you will have good command on that, and you will ha you can choose your words carefully. That's what I do. So I think if we slow, uh, if we slow, you know, uh, speak, slow then we pace. can get yes. rid of this problem. Yes, indeed. But now. But people have, you know, such kind of mindset. If you speak slow, they consider that you are not fluent uh, and you are getting time to make uh, the sentences. Uh, you are getting time to, uh, you know, speak your things. OK, so why? Uh, why people think like this? I can't help the people. Uh, I can't stop them from thinking. So you need to think what is right for you. So once you have that kind of right mindset, then people would definitely follow. First, people laugh at you and then they follow. So the, if they criticize you, it's all right. I have seen number of people, they start very slow. They start framing smaller sentences and later on they become brilliant speakers. So fluency doesn't mean speed. You can't equate fluency to uh, speed. So fluency means accuracy, command on your words, and you are able to put your thoughts across and you are able to art articulate well. So that's what I consider right speaking or fluency. So you don't have to worry about it as long as you are enjoying it. So you need to go slow rather than simply running like a bullet train. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Even I consider uh, myself, OK, I always try to speak slowly. But sometimes so I don't know why uh, I just go in a flow and uh, we make a lot of mistake like, uh, you know, you know, and uh, sometimes uh, I just give the feedback from the 
person who is just in talking in front of me and they said that okay when i ask you okay just give me the feedback okay then they say uh, they said that mithles you spoke many times you know okay 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 so would you like to uh, teach me you know some you know of fillers words um i can't simply tell you all those filler words because a lot of british and american people they also use those fillers but access of everything is bad so you need to go slow as i said earlier so when you slow down your pace we call it rate of speech so rate of speech should not be very much high and i don't know what kind of people that you are talking about if you talk to somebody who understands or speaks better english so that person will let you know that simply slow down rather than using fillers and all they will definitely come uh, like you can use fillers no problem with that but you don't have to use fillers all the time sometime like when i when somebody asks me a question can you tell me your daily routine so i simply start i wake up at 7 o'clock i take a bath rather than saying i wake up at 7 o'clock and uh, i take a bath and uh, i get ready and uh, because i am thinking so once we start thinking then there is a particular gap that has been created by that thinking phase so yeah. to remove that what you need to do go slow and don't use any fillers sometime you need to go for a conscious effort because when you get lost into speaking when you get engrossed into it you forget about that so that's where you need to pull the harness thank you so much for giving your valuable advice and definitely i will try to you know implement uh, this tips in my upcoming you know my conversation and definitely uh, i will see the improvement in myself yeah so thank you so much sir so is there any question from your side sir so do you want to ask then you can ask sir and i will try to level my best to answer your question yes and whenever we say that from my side we never say from my side from my end e n d end because you know sides are two left and right so we need to say that this is from my end if you have any question from your end you can ask like this your hand and e n d end okay All right. So you uh, can you tell me something about the place that you come from? The place I'm from live? Bihar. No, I'm from Bihar. Where? I'm from very a small village. So I'm talking about. I'm asking about your village. Yes, I'm telling you. I'm from Bihar, and and I'm. No, no, I understood village. that. I just want to know uh, the kind of uh, people, the kind of place that is. So, do you get people to talk to you in English? So, what is the atmosphere? No. if we talk about uh, like you know the if you know uh, where you know i can con connect uh, in english language so i rarely you know find the people in my local area but due to you know uh, many application i connect myself and i do practice uh, uh, through a skype and there is uh, one more application that is hybrid application where i uh, make you know session and so yeah in this way i do practice but if we literally you know talk about in my village uh, people had uh, to speak english uh, even you try to talk them okay they can laugh and they can tell you okay you are you know showing that yeah so i don't uh, find any partner in my local area yeah and if there are so many because sorry to cut you in short because of youtube and many other applications as you have discussed so they are helping a lot because when i said uh, earlier when i said that uh, first people laugh at you and then they follow so might be in coming years or coming months they would definitely follow that mithilesh is from our village it's a proud moment for us that will definitely be there in, on their lips yeah so i just my uh, i just uh, started my journey and i have been uploading video for 5 months and uh, recently you know two and three days back uh, i have completed my 1k subscriber so yeah maybe you know in future my name uh, will be uh, boomed uh, and all the people will be talking about myself mithilesh is doing a good job and uh, and he is trying to learn a new language because english is a smart lingua and it is said that english is a smart lingua and learn it and be a smart and finally win the world yeah so in this way you know i'm just working on myself and definitely let's see you know how just things take us up in future and if this conversation is going uh, to listen god right now then definitely you know everything will be all right in future mm -hmm. because by talking to different people we learn a lot by just sticking yeah. to particular book or the conventional methods i know they will definitely help but we need to learn by talking to others because we can expand our learning uh, uh, like 
I must say that when we start talking to different people, so it's not pretty much restricted to the four walls of our home. So we are going beyond that and learning should not be restricted. Absolutely. Uh, equally, I think that learning is not a you know, short term uh, goal and it's uh, all about, you know, process and uh, from, you know, uh, since, you know, uh, um, born to, you know, till that, okay, we have to improve ourselves. So learning is a uh, it's all about you know long long life you know when did you start learning this language and why did you start learning english i mean it's been for a long time okay uh, i have been learning this language but uh, in this way right now you know we are you know talking with uh, we are talking to each other so it's been only you know uh, one month i have been doing that but it it's been a very long time okay i have been learning this language and if i talk about why i why i why I have been learning this language, so I just want to become a you know teacher, and I just want to connect myself with globally. Yeah, so I see my you know future you know as English trainer, and I want to help them because uh, I just think that okay the situation you know I have faced in my life okay the person who will just uh, who will start learning uh, learning this language in future okay they don't want to you know face yeah so that is why I just want to become English trainer. So I'm, I can easily relate myself with that because even I had the same kind of notion when I was learning. So I went through a lot of problems and uh, my learning was just like a roller coaster ride for me. There were many <laughs> highs and lows and uh, whatever that you have discussed that you want to help a lot of people. So that's what I wanted to do and I'm still doing that. So I never wanted to be a teacher, as I said in some of my previous videos. So sometime destiny takes you to the places that you never desired for. But once you uh enjoy that then journey is uh, the only way to enjoy yourself because destination is different when you enjoy the journey the destination will be double enjoy enjoyable i think if you have uh, the interest and uh, if you're learning anything you know with the interest then definitely you will go far but if you set any target if you set any goal then you will not do something big in your life so i think you should enjoy your uh, job you should you know take the interest and if you have interest of, of you know learning something you know achieving something then definitely you will go very far very far and nobody can stop you of learning anything else so it's my yeah, sustained thing, opinion that i always believe that do the thing that you love and love the thing that you do so once exactly. you have that kind of a thinking you have the sky is the limit so are you teaching? Uh, are you into running any kind of institution? Are you helping or giving lessons to people? Yeah, exactly. I have been running offline institution and uh, it's been, uh, I think, you know, six years. OK, I have been uh, teaching to the people and uh, I have almost uh, one, you know, 50 students in my offline batches. And uh, nowadays, you know, I'm also, you know, taking the classes online. There are 13 and 40 students who is different part of you know, India and they are taking classes from me and uh, I try to you know uh, I try to you know share my knowledge because as I believe that sharing is the best way of learning if you come in the you know teaching field then definitely you will improve yourself because if when you are going to teach uh, somebody else but you are not that much you know concerned you are not that much you know sufficient in that uh, you know particular field then how will you teach that so that is why you know I should come uh, I should have you know come in this field so what is the most challenging part of teaching that you consider? How can I express in a word? OK, I think uh, to make them understand, OK, because sometimes, you know, uh, we uh, we know we face the you know, different uh, you know, kinds of you know, students. Yeah, uh, sometimes we uh, find the very uh, intelligent student. Uh, if you teach them, they you know, easily to uh, easily uh, can you understand but sometimes you know if you teach then a student okay they are not uh, they are not uh, able to understand you and uh, so i think uh, to make them understand is a very difficult part yeah because if you teach to the you know uh, children okay they can understand you easily but uh, the person who has you know taken you know classes from you know different kind of you know institution okay and if you teach them okay so such such kind of people have the you know the very uh, wrong mindset and they, they think about you okay uh, he is teaching you know well and uh, does he teach you know uh, does he teach you know perfect okay uh, i will you know speak i will speak or not so i think it's a challenging for me so when you are into teaching, so this thing happens a lot because if somebody is coming and he might have taken some uh, lessons or some classes before coming to you. So we need to go for de-learning process because sometimes students are not ready for that. 
even I come across a lot of people, those who simply say that I've learned this, I've learned that. So when I start asking about that, then I get to know that there is no, uh, nothing. Their words do yeah. not hold any. Just take an example, you know, I just started, you know, teaching tense. And they, uh, they say that, oh, yeah, sir, I have learned this, uh, these things, okay? Then, and then I ask the question, okay, uh, could you please make the sentence? Then if you ask that, they cannot make. So yeah, it gives us, the, you know, the very, uh, what we can say that, you know, bad, you know, uh, experience it's okay because it's a part of learning or teaching so as you are a teacher you have to have a lot of patience because teaching requires a lot of patience even i have been into this profession for a very long time and i've come across so many people those who have same kind of notion even i train some teachers also they come to me and uh, they want to learn how to teach others so it becomes difficult because uh, most of the teachers uh, like sorry to say that but they have ego yeah exactly. <laughs> so we should not have that uh, and uh, another thing is that teachers should be a learner first the more we learn the more we are able to impart exactly so do you have any questions to ask yeah there are many questions uh, hunting in my mind okay which i wanted to ask for a long time okay and this is the time okay when i when i can ask and when i can get the answer, uh, answer from you yeah Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So could you please uh, suggest me that how can you know improve our you know vocabulary? Because sometimes what exactly happens with me that uh, I do not get the proper you know word. I do not get the exact word okay which I want to speak. Sorry for that. I received a phone call from my wife. No problem, sir. No problem. Because when you're yeah. married, then you have to answer so many questions if your phone is busy or. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think you are. Married guy, yeah. So that's why you have to do that. But I'm a bachelor, okay? So I don't have to do any kind of thing. <laughs> you can talk to anybody at any time. So people like us, we do have uh, certain limitations. So you asked me a question, how to enhance our vocabulary. So you yeah. have to learn a lot of words, but when it comes to using them in your conversation, you are not able to use them. Exactly. Am I right? So right. whenever you read any kind of word, so please understand the context also and make a list of 10 to 15 words which you are going to apply in your conversation. Before going ahead with a conversation with someone, start making some of the sentences. Start uh, thinking about your surroundings, start uh, using that particular word. Once you use that word for 10 to 15 times, then it will be there in your conscious mind for some time. And very next day, you can revise those words and that's how you can practice. And whenever you listen to somebody, rather than simply listening and uh, reading the subtitles, we need to make a note of those vocabularies or those words. And we need to understand the use also, because sometimes you know the meaning of that word, but you do not know how to use it. So you need yeah. to write the word with a part of speech so that you can use that word in the right context. That's what I do. I make a list of five to 10 words, not more than that, because you know that an average mind is able to remember that many words and I'm an average person. So yeah, that's, that's what uh, really, That's really interesting, you know, uh, you no know, way to improve our vocabulary. Because yes, so sure, I've learned following. thousands of words in one or two days. It takes time. Yeah, absolutely. It takes time. Okay, nothing happens in overnight. Yes. Yeah, we will have to. Uh, invest our time, then definitely we will learn so many more. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, at what time, okay, do you take the you know online classes? You teach online the online classes pretty much in the afternoon, and uh, one batch is there in the morning. And after that, uh, I have an I have an offline setup where I teach from nine o'clock till eleven o'clock in morning. And after that, I have uh, like consecutive batches from five o'clock till nine o'clock. And then I go to gym. My God. So I think you, you are very you know, much concerned about your health. Yeah, we because we always uh, say that a healthy mind lives in healthy body. Or so Sir, is there, any batches? is there any batches uh, in uh, evening time? I mean, uh, like uh, 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. maybe? After nine o'clock, I don't teach. I go to the gym and then I come back home around half past 10 or 11 o'clock. And then I have a family. Otherwise, uh, they will throw me out. <laughs> OK, and what about your, you know, job charges of your batches? Because I just want to, you know, uh, join batches, OK, because I need to improve myself a lot. Yeah. 
because I think that because your way of speaking and the, your uh, pitch of speaking is in nice here because you are just talking like you know mm-hmm. very natural. Because sometimes people uh, have you know fake accent, but I think you have you know authentic accent. Yeah, so I love to uh, enhance my communication skills along with you. I can't tell you in the video right now, so for that we will have a talk behind the curtains. So we'll talk about that later on. You can send me a message. Okay, and I'll... You can you can send me your you know charges on, on my you know WhatsApp. Yeah, I'll definitely. And do if that. I'm capable for that, then definitely I will join. Yes, but I so, think if you have a bad trip in the evening, okay, then I think it will be a more, you know, bad, uh, fruitful for me because in a day, okay, I don't get the time because I have you know many batches, okay, I have to teach them. Yeah, I can understand that because we both are sailing in the same boat, so I'm yeah. able to relate myself with that. Because you know, I'm from Bihar, and it is the time of uh, you know, you know, recently the matric examination has been you know finished. Yeah. So in in local area in Bihar, especially people have and a Bihari student have in a mindset that okay, after you know, ten minutes they want to learn English. Yeah. yeah, they consider so they learning to learn English. English. Sorry to cut you in short again. They consider learning English like a nani ka ghar. So after the exam, they want to go there for their vacations. So it used to happen in Delhi also. Okay, definitely. When I will come to Delhi, okay, then I will try to meet you because uh, I just want to you know. Uh, find the people okay who can uh, who can you know uh, help me and who can you know understand me okay because i'm the person that okay uh, i love to you know meet a new guy even they are from different part of you know in, even in out of you know india as well no problem you are most welcome whenever you come to delhi you just need to give me a ring and uh, even i'm uh, looking forward to visiting uh, bihar i've never been there i do have some friends there so most probably next year or this year i don't know once I get some time, because I need to explore my country. I'm uh, pretty much restricted. You know that teaching is uh, quite exhausting. You are not able to go anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> because if you if you do not give your proper time, yeah. So students uh, are very you know careless. Yeah. Uh, they leave your coaching center. Okay. They join another coaching center. They are they have you know many options. Yeah. It's uh, like you know uh, now teaching is also like in you know, a business, and uh, they are you know uh, students are you know treated like you know uh, soft. Uh, they they go you know uh, with uh, they go this day you know uh, another shop and you know second day go in another shop so it's like like that yeah and uh, there are many uh, teachers okay they just uh, do uh, you know their advertisement like you know uh, you can speak English just 90 days you can speak English just you know 80 days yeah so it's uh, I think that it's uh, become now uh, you know a business. Yes, you are pretty much right. In Delhi, we also have so many institutions. But, but I have been into this profession for almost 14 years. So there are a number of institutes which are mushrooming on daily basis. And as you know that after the examination, a lot of people start or set up setting up their institutions. So I don't care about that. I need to update myself. So I need to go uh, two steps ahead from the people, those who are teaching nearby my institutes or those who are already in this profession. So that's how uh, I will make some space in the conscious mind of those people, those who are looking forward to enhancing their communication skills. Exactly, sir. Exactly. You are really doing great job. OK, and I wish you all the best. OK, you will go ahead. Very go ahead and you will achieve a lot of things in your life. So whatever you want exactly in your life. Yeah, and because I'm I think forward I- to seeing the same uh, like with you also. So I hope you will have a big institute soon and you will have a big name and fame and everything. So it's yes. nice talking to you. I really enjoyed and I don't know how time flew uh, during this conversation. Equally, I think that's OK. And it's my pleasure uh, for me that OK, you just uh, uh, gave me the time, you know, for having the conversation. OK, so it's and uh, I, I don't think that OK. Uh, the, uh, such kind of you know, conversation we will do uh, uh, in future okay, with anyone. OK, it is uh, absolutely in a fruitful session with you. So we will do. We will. Def, we will definitely have more conversations like this. So till that time, take care, take good care of yourself, and we'll definitely reconnect.